HoneyBook now allows for you to be able to allow your clients the freedom of choosing their own payment plan. So I want to show you how to get that done. Right now, I'm inside of my HoneyBook account, and I am just going to choose a smart file that has an invoice attached to it. Okay, so I'm inside of this smart file that has an invoice attached to it. On this first page, we have our contract here. And then the second page is the invoice. So with this particular invoice, this is the invoice amount for $14.97. So as we scroll down to the bottom of this invoice, you'll notice this payment plan section. So you have your standard payment plan options, which allows for you to be able to offer your clients a payment plan, right? So right now this one is split up into two payments. So typically we do a 50% deposit, and then the other 50% on our project kickoff date. Now you can adjust this preset plan just by going through and clicking on the date, and you can change the dates by doing invoice date, custom dates, their smart project dates, um, milestone payments. You can go through and fully customize it. So I'm just gonna keep it at invoice date, which is gonna be the date that you're sending out the invoice. And then that second payment, again, you have those same options as before. So we're just going to have it at this custom date. And let's say we choose September 25th, right? So the invoice total is automatically split up by the amount of preset payments that I have. So in this case, it's split 50-50. If I wanted to preset it where it is split maybe in thirds, I can add an additional payment just by clicking add payment. And you see that it automatically adjusts the total amount due of the bill to having it in thirds. And then again, I can go through and just adjust that date that I wanted that third payment to be due, okay? But now you have the option to give your clients the flexibility of paying you when it's more convenient for them, right? And this may allow for you to be able to secure more clients in this particular market, right? This downturn of a market where people might not be able to pay 50 50 or pay in full. Now you can give that flexibility by this section here, which is client selects the payment plan, but you still can put some, some restrictions on this, right? So basically how this is set up is you would set up that first payment, which is going to be due on the day that you select. So you can choose a custom date or you can choose an invoice day. So let's say for example, we choose the invoice day, the day that we're actually sending the invoice. The next thing you can do is you can set the max amount of payments that your client can choose from. So this actually goes all the way out to a year. So this allows the client to be able to say, okay, that bill maybe is, that invoice is $1,500. They can split it up all the way up until having monthly payments for a full year. So let's say for example, we choose four, and actually I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna choose 12 because I wanna show you exactly what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna choose 12. So maybe we have 12. They can choose an option all the way out to 12. Now, if you were to toggle this, I'm gonna move myself to the other side. If you were to toggle this on, so it was on, but you can offer a discount for your clients that want you pay in full, right? So if you toggle it on, you can offer a discount. So you can select this here and it allows you to be able to offer a discount in percentages as well as dollar amount. So let's say for a percentage, maybe we'll say 10% off. You pay in full, we're gonna give you 10% off. So it shows you the amount that that 10% is going to be. Now, inside of your payment plan options as well, you do have your settings for your invoice over here to the right. So this allows for you to be able to see like the frequency, if you have it set for one-time payments, recurring payments now, if it is set on payment plans, of course, those are going to be recurring until the end of the when the payment plan actually runs out. Just to note as well, is the date that you set for your first payment. So this section here, the payment that's set for the first payment is going to be the same date that the client is going to be billed or deducted every single month. So if you select, let's say August 20th, that means on September 20th, October 20th, on the 20th, it's going to deduct from that client the amount that is billed for them, okay? In this section as well too, you can allow your clients to be able to pay. You can do credit card, bank transfer, both. You can allow your clients to leave tips. You can also choose this toggle, this auto pay option on and off. 
I personally like to always keep auto pay on. We are auto payers over here, but you can choose to toggle that on and off, or you can also toggle on client pays a late fee as well and put in a percentage up to 10% of the late fee in case they are late and HoneyBook will automatically update that for you on the invoice so you don't have to worry about doing all of that. So I wanna just go through and preview this so you can see exactly what the client will see when they receive your HoneyBook invoice. So this is the second page. It's letting you know in the smart file, this is page number two of my particular smart file. And this is the invoice again for the service total 1497. The client will then hit next. When they hit next, they now will be presented with this screen because we have the client pay option activated. So it's letting me know that, okay, the total amount due is 1497 and it's saying, choose your payment plan. So it has here that, hey, if I decide to pay in full, I get a 10% discount if I pay in full. And then it's letting me know that amount that it's going to be if I choose to pay in full. But let's say the client doesn't want to pay in full. They want to split their payments up. You can actually go through and do this drop down and the client can then choose up to your max, your max amount, your max month that you put in there, how, um, how much they want to go through and pay. So in this case, we chose up to 12. So if a client has this option, they may say, oh, okay, well, I'll just do 12 months, right? I'll just pay every month. And so now it has gone through and it has broken down this 1497 invoice into monthly payments for the next year. So the client will be responsible for paying $124.75 for the next year. And it gives you the date, which is the invoice date or the date that you started the plan on. And it lets them know, okay, each one of my bills are going to be due on this particular day. So it's just letting them know. Just because that option is available, so let's say you do put 12, sometimes they be like, no, I don't want to pay that for 12 months. I'm going to do six months. They can do that. So they can go through and adjust this up to your max. So just let me know in the comments, would this be something, would this be a feature that you would consider using in your business if you are a HoneyBook user? Let me know. Would this be something that you would actually use by allowing your customers and clients to be able to have a little bit more flexibility of paying you. So let me know that in the comments. And if you are not a HoneyBook user and you want to go through and get started with HoneyBook to be able to stream on your business, automate your business, have everything managed for you and your clients all in one place, you can start a free trial of HoneyBook. That link is going to be in the description box below, as well as you do get 30% off of your first year. And you can also grab my additional resources. My free HoneyBook user guide is inside of the description box as well. So until next time, keep learning and keep growing. And I will see you in the next video.